Hello, in this video, we will learn about operators in Java and how to form basic expressions using them. When we write a Java program, it consists of multiple statements. Like in English language, we have multiple sentences. A statement forms a complete unit of execution. A statement is made up of one or more expressions. An expression is a construct made up of operators and operands. Operands could be variables, constants or functions which is constructed according to the syntax of the language and evaluates to a single value. Operators are special symbols that perform specific operations on operands. Example, plus, minus, greater than, etc. Java operators can be classified as unary, binary or ternary. Unary takes one argument, example, increment and decrement operator. Binary takes two arguments, example plus and equal to operator. Ternary takes in three arguments, example, the conditional operator. Java operators can also be divided into eight different categories, assignment, arithmetic, unary, relational, logical, ternary, bitwise, and shift. Let's look at each one of them. First is assignment operator or equal to. It is used to assign a value to a variable. The syntax is as shown. For example, we give a data type with variable name and then assign a value directly or assign variable to another variable. Next are arithmetic operators which are used to perform common mathematical operations. There are five types of arithmetic operators, plus, minus, multiply, divide, and modulus or remainder. Assuming x is 20 and y is 10, the table shows syntax for all the arithmetic operators and their result. Let's create some expression with arithmetic operators. The first example is, how will we write an expression to calculate the average of five numbers? Here we will do the sum of the five numbers using the plus operator and then divide by five to get the average. Here do remember that since we want the addition to happen first, we need to put that in brackets. Now let's write an expression to get the last digit of a number. Here we will use the modulus operator to get the remainder after division by 10. Now let's write an expression to calculate the area and perimeter of a circle. Here we will calculate the area by multiplying value of pi which is 3.14 into radius 2 times. Similarly, we will calculate perimeter by multiplying 2 into pi into radius r. Java has two unary operators increment and decrement. Operator plus plus adds 1 to its operand and operator minus minus subtracts 1 from its operand. Each of them comes in two variants, prefix and postfix. Prefix comes before the operand and postfix comes after the operand. Let's see this in an example. Here x is assigned 5 and y is assigned prefix x. Here first x is incremented and then assigned to y. So the value is 6. Let's see another example. Here x is assigned 5 and y is assigned postfix x. In this example, first assignment happens in the expression and then increment takes place. While x is incremented to 6 and the value of y is 5. The decrement prefix and postfix operators work in the same way. Now let's take a look at relational operators. There are six relational operators which are used to compare numbers or characters. These operators are equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than and equal to, and less than and equal to. Let's see this in some examples. Assuming x is 20 and y is 10, if the comparison is true, 
then it returns boolean value true otherwise it returns false now let's look at some problems using relational operators first is write an expression to compare if two numbers are equal here we will use double equal to sign to compare do not confuse this with single equal to sign which is for the assignment statement next is write an expression to check if a number is even number an even number is an integer number which is divisible by 2 that means the remainder is zero so we will use the modulus operator to get the remainder and check if it is zero if there is no remainder the number is even otherwise it's odd next let's take a look at logical operators they are used to combine one or more relational expressions and they to return a true or false value as they operate only on boolean values let's see each one of them and returns true only if both statements are true or returns true if one of the statements is true not reverses the result returns false if the statement is true now let's write some expressions using the logical operators first is check if number is less than 100 and not 5 here we will first form two expressions for less than 100 and not 5 and then we will join them by using logical operator and let's see another example write an expression where number is between 10 and 50 with both numbers inclusive for a number to be in between a range it has to be greater than 10 and less than 50 here since both numbers are inclusive we will use less than or equal to and greater than or equal to operators this is the final expression let's see another example write an expression where grade is either a b or c here we will compare the grade to a b and c in three separate expressions and then combine it with or this gives us the final expression now let's take a look at ternary operator ternary operator is also called as conditional operator and it is the only operator which uses three arguments or operands in java if you see the syntax it is a simpler alternative to if else statement and is used to evaluate boolean expressions the conditional operator has three parts first is an expression then is a statement which is evaluated if the expression evaluates to true and then is a statement which is executed if the expression is evaluated false in the example here it will check if a is equal to 1 if true then b is assigned 20 if false then b is assigned 30 next are bitwise and shift operators that perform operation on bits i will skip explaining this in detail in our next video we will learn more about operator precedence and associativity in java